Hello, Mike Butcher with TechCrunch, and I'm here with Shane Wall, who is the CTO, no less, of Hewlett Packard, uh, which you may have heard of. Um, Shane, thank you very much for joining us at TechCrunch Disrupt. Um, My pleasure. It's good to be here. We've been managed to snag you because you guys had some breaking news out today. Um, we've uh, pulled you out of your uh, interviews with uh, CNN and whoever mm -hmm. else you've been running around uh, doing, uh, working the media today. And because um, you guys made a big announcement today, you're establishing the uh, HP Tech Venture Group, uh, which is going to be a new corporate venturing arm, right? That is correct, yeah. yeah. And that's really interesting. Let's uh, unpack that a little bit. So it's a big announcement. It's uh, quite a new direction for HP. Uh, but I think that a lot of people um, watching there would would, um, would have thought that HP might have had a venture arm before. So what's different? What, what's going to be different about what you're going to be doing now? Yeah. So I mean, we, we have been in the venture business previously. Yeah. Um, last fall, we actually split the company into two: Hewlett Packard Enterprise and HP Inc. And uh, so now we're part of HP Inc., which is the uh, you know the surviving entity for HP. And so we've reconstituted this focus on HP Tech Ventures. Uh, and that will really be our focus on external venture investment. Um, and what a, what a perfect way to do it than when it comes from the original startup of Silicon Valley. Yeah. Um, 75 years ago. Exactly. 76 in, years ago. In the now. legendary gar garage. And it's still there. It's yeah. still standing. Amazing. So, um, have you announced a, an amount that you're going to be investing, or uh, is it um, more broad, more strategic than that? Yeah, it's, it, we, we've te taken a strategic focus. What we'll do is we'll invest off of our balance sheet, and what that means is we will, we will go after targeted investments in areas that we care about, and we're going to focus on the quality of the investment, um, and we're not going to try and go after a particular target. Mm -hmm. uh, so the nice thing is we'll do the smart thing uh, based on it. I see. Um, and so what you're, you're actually going after quite defined areas, aren't you? You've actually listed them in your announcement. Uh, you're going after mobility, uh, smart machines, AI, uh, 3D printing, immersive technologies. These are very, very forward-thinking um, sectors, aren't they? Yeah, it is. And maybe to put that in, in context is uh, when we look at HP, um, what we're trying to do with HP is we're, we're trying to go and make sure we, we really strengthen our core business and personal systems and print. And so some of the investments will actually be to complement those existing businesses. But in addition to that, to actually go and target some of the new disruptive areas. Now the other thing I do at HP is I run HP Labs. And uh, this year is the 50th birthday of HP Labs the preeminent research Amazing. institution in the valley. Mm. And so um, within HP Labs, we've essentially gone out and targeted five key areas. And these key areas play into what we believe are our strengths from a technology and a channel standpoint. They're essentially the ones you mentioned. Mm. And those we have some internal investments and we'll certainly do those from a lab standpoint. But what we look for and where we focus tech ventures is that external complementary pieces of areas where we're not investing, but we can match it up with things we're doing internally or we can match it up with existing business. Is there not going to be some sort of in tension between the innovation you get out of HP Labs, which is internal, and uh, this uh, new outward-looking venture uh, idea? Uh, not, not really. They, they'll be very uh, distinct and complementary. We'll, we'll definitely we've set it up that way. We'll manage it that way. Mm -hmm. So the things that we're doing um, it, it within HP Labs themselves, we'll focus on those for our own technology. And then we'll look for complementary pieces of it you know, in order to supplement. So I'll give you a good example is last year we announced um, multi-jet fusion. Multi-jet fusion is our disruptive technology play uh, in the 3D print space. Uh, it will be absolutely revolutionary. The core technology is built on things we did in HP Labs and then built upon our print business. Mm. But there's so many things in the 3D print area in workflow and security and applications that you know we're right. not doing, we'll go complement. Um, how, are you, how do you plan to integrate some of the investments that you're going to be making with uh, uh, the tech venture group, tech ventures? Well, we'll, we'll do it, there won't be one fixed way. Mm -hmm. So, so in, in some cases it'll be, you know, how do we do, uh, how do, we do an investment that complements, say, our printing business? Uh, and what we get out of it is differentiation. What, what a startup gets out of it is 
incredible channel, right? And yeah. an incredible brand. Access, to, most... access to the whole uh, HP. Absolutely, yeah. right. So they get large scale out of it and we get differentiation. That'll be in the core business. Will you be going after any particular stage, like early, mid, late, or are you, are you not, um, not we, putting we'll too many We'll probably center on kind on of, uh, you know, A stage or B stage. Mm -hmm. uh, those where they've proven out some of the technologies. We won't eliminate a uh, very early stage. Uh, and we've certainly, you know, looked at some of those. We probably will going forward, but it'll probably be centered more around an A or a B stage. And I think it was, um, lastly, I think it was very interesting that you've, um, you're have you actually going to be basing operations both in Silicon Valley and in Palo Alto, I gather, and, yes. and also in Tel Aviv. That's right. So, we will, yeah, we will be in, in Palo Alto, right there on Page Mill Road, right in the center of, you know, the, the, the startup world. And then uh, our other big area will be in Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, that is a very special place for us for a couple reasons. One, you know that what the startup community is like there. It's probably the second largest startup community in the world. Yeah. But uh, more importantly for us, uh, it is one of our largest sites at HP. It is where a lot of our disruptive print technologies, Indigo, for example, uh, mm -hmm. has come from and where they're based. And so we will actually you know, be a great opportunity to tap into that startup community and use it to differentiate some of our businesses in, in uh, Israel today. Well, Shane Wall, CTO of HP, no less, and thank you very much for joining us and telling us about HP's new tech venture group. It's, uh, it's fantastic that HP is making this new, great new bold stride into, uh, into the startup space. So thanks very much for coming on TechCrunch. Excellent. My pleasure.